PanicAttackRecovery.com. Hi, it's Matthew from PanicAttackRecovery.com. We're a collaboration of former sufferers helping people with panic attacks, stress, anxiety, depression, and ADHD so they can express their true competencies in life. Thank you for joining us for the video version of our podcast episode, When Things Get Personal. What I really want to discuss is the notion of personalization and how often when others mistreat us in our eyes or treat us in a way that we feel is unfair, we all have those people that we interact with sometimes who really get on our nerves. One of the things I've observed in myself and in talking with others is often people who upset us really are acting towards us sometimes in a way that they may not act to others. Sometimes people are reacting to us in a way that really wouldn't be acceptable to other people or shouldn't be acceptable. They're acting in a way that that isn't really fair. They're frustrating us. Sometimes we're personalizing things. So by personalizing the way that someone acts to us, what we're often telling ourselves is it's something to do with me. It's something that I did that caused their behavior. Perhaps if I had have handled the situation differently, this person would be acting towards me in a different way. Of course, this all sounds good. There's only one problem. It's not true. For one, people are really in control of their behavior. It doesn't mean that we can't aggravate people and make mistakes that frustrate people. But I'm talking about situations where you really think about it afterwards and you say, you know, I haven't mistreated this person and I've been fair. I've been reasonable to this person. They just don't seem to perhaps like me. I think keeping in mind two things is very important. And that's that often it has nothing to do with you. No matter what you would have done, it wouldn't have made a difference. Or maybe, yes, you could have handled the situation a little bit differently. And maybe it would have made a small difference. But in the grand scheme of things, the person's attitude was sort of set to begin with. The person already came in with a disposition. The way that we get free of this is we start to realize and say, you know, I'm a perceptive person. I certainly know that this person wasn't being very nice to me. Now, perhaps there are reasons in his or her life why they were acting that way. Perhaps they have a sense that they are higher in the hierarchy than me in the organization, therefore... That's the way they interact with people who are lower on the hierarchy, so to speak. It could be something that maybe this person is jealous over. Maybe, maybe I've accomplished something or done something and this person is jealous or it's the person's own bias. So you can't control someone else's bias. We are talking about human behavior. We are not talking about how things always should be. We all have should rules about how others should behave, how the, how the world should operate often. But that isn't in reality how things operate. So my point here really is to convey that, yes, people do act very differently sometimes around others. And it's not something to blame yourself over when you have someone who deals with you negatively if you haven't dealt with them negatively. And the tendency for people is to often blame themselves and to say, well, there's something that I should have done to prevent this. But again, realizing that people will behave differently sometimes in different situations and with different people and realizing that this can be frustrating, but realizing that those people are just humans, just like yourself, and you stop putting people on the same type of pedestal, at least an unrealistic pedestal that some of us do put people on sometimes. But seeing people more realistically and authentically can often reduce your anxiety Because often you don't then have to measure up to a standard that really was so high and was not even realistic. You can relax somewhat and say, you know what? People have faults just like I do. And this can be very helpful for your self-image. And when you're often comparing yourself to others, as I've said before, people who suffer from anxiety often do. But when you don't have to compare yourself to such a high standard of others and you don't put people on quite the same pedestal as maybe you did in the past, all of a sudden your anxiety reduces. You start to see people as more human, authentic, and you don't take as much offense when others act towards you in a way that has nothing to do with you, but has something to do with what's going on with them in their life, their own biases, the way they see the world. We hope that you have enjoyed this video. For the extended version of this material, you can listen to our podcast episode on iTunes by clicking on the card on the upper right corner of this video. 
Please subscribe to our podcast on iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcast episodes. Alternatively, you can subscribe by visiting our website at panicattackrecovery.com. Panic Attack Recovery dot com.